following announcement has been paid for by the Jackass Nation. What's up, Jackass Nation? It's your boy, the Jersey Jackass, ETCW World Heavyweight Champion, and I am here late at night to uh, react to the Dark Phoenix trailer. As you can see, I'm a big X-Men fan. I got my uh, Mutants Unite gifted t-shirt on. I run the Gifted After Show here on Cinelinks, uh, Gifted Talkers, which just went video, so you can check out the video on the Cinelinks YouTube or the Jackass Nation YouTube channels. I'm really excited about this movie. I know a lot of people have been iffy about it, and some people just say, look, now that Fox is probably going to Disney, just get rid of it. We don't need it. Who cares? But me, I want it, and I'm excited about it, and I cannot wait to see it. And uh, I know some of the movies have not been great, but I've had fun with all of the movies. So I'm excited for this one, too. I'm excited for uh, New Mutants, if we ever get to see it. Apocalypse was not the best, but I still had fun with it. So now I'm excited to check out this trailer. It finally dropped uh, out of nowhere this morning. We got the word that it was going to be on James Corden tonight. And here it is, uh, midnight here in Texas. I'm beat, tired. I've had a long day. But I waited and waited and waited just for this. So, without any further ado, let's, uh, let's get it going. Ooh, the mansion. Continuity, schmontinuity. God, I hate her on Game of Thrones. Ugh, be beast. Just be beast. Oh, dude! Oh, put on the makeup. I came looking for answers. Oh, snap. I feel like you don't belong here. You don't. Uh oh. God, I love Jessica Chastain. Oh my god, she looks so much like Halle Berry. Put on the makeup! Oh, we're going to space. She's still off phone. This is your fault, Charles. The world is on the brink. I'm sorry. I didn't stop it sooner. You're always sorry, Charles. And there's always a speech. And nobody cares. I love Becky, though. Don't do this. The right to see me. Dude, she looks so good at Storm. I'm looking at it now. Yo. Yo. Alright, like, if you ask me, Valentine's Day can't get here soon enough. I'm hyped for it, man. Um, certain issues. I really do hate how Beast is not Beast, and he keeps, you know, going back into not being the Beast. Uh, I get it. Makeup's a pain to put on. But suck it up, dude. Same thing with you, J-Law. Suck it up. Your mystique, put on the makeup. That's been my major issue with all these movies, is they're not letting them be them. It, do performance capture if it's so hard to put make, uh, makeup on. You can, you can do that. It's fine. Ugh. But, um, I like it. I think it looks really fun. Um, I love... It, it's it's pretty much almost the same as X Men Three story wise. The little differences, but it looks like it's going to be the same kind of Dark Phoenix saga that we got there. Uh, not really with the uh, with the X Men Cure or nothing, but you see the you know, the mental blocks, all that stuff. You see things going on, and I'm I'm hyped for this. And dude, I think it looks super dope. I'm not a big fan of Sophie Turner. Not that I think she's a bad actress. I think she's a great actress. She's incredible. She's stunning. She's beautiful. I really hate her character on Game of Thrones. I believe everything that has happened on Game of Thrones is her fault. True story. So every time I see her, I just think Game of Thrones. And I'm just like, 
you caused everything. You stupid. Yeah. Uh, you can see a little glimpse of Quicksilver. Love seeing that. Dude. Uh, Storm. She looks so much like Halle Berry in that scene, man. That was legit. Uh, I love I love seeing her. I, I hope they give her more to do in this movie. I hope we really get to see Storm shine. Um, with this being the first X-Men movie without Wolverine, uh, we're going to need someone to kind of take over that role. Uh, and I would love to see Storm kind of... Moving. Don't get me wrong. I know Cyclops is the leader of the X Men, but I like I like Storm to be like a voice that everyone listens to because she's Storm. Like that's that's how I remember her. Uh, I remember her from the uh, X Men the animated series of being that voice that when she spoke, everyone listened. And that's what I want to see from her now. I want to see more Quicksilver. I hope we get another badass Quicksilver scene. Um, we didn't get to see much of whether or not they do it in this trailer or not, but. Uh, for a teaser trailer, if this is technically a teaser, maybe it's an actual first trailer. I don't know. I liked it. I'm excited for it. I know there's a good chance of it not being good. I know that. But I just don't care. I love the mutants. I love the X-Men. I love this world. Uh, I'll be excited to see what Disney does with them. I'm excited to see where how this saga finishes. So... Maybe that's just my two cents. I'm really excited about it, but what about you guys? Did you like this trailer? Make sure you comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell so you can get all the notifications for all of our new videos. The Gifted Talkers After Show is up now right here on this YouTube channel. So go check it out. Me and Quad Z break down episode one of season two, Emer Emer uh, em Emergence. I think it was called Emergence, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I love The Gifted. I love The X-Men. hope you guys like this trailer. If not... Let me know. Internet's never afraid to let us know what they feel, right? It is what it is. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the Jackass Nation.